a subscriber question today about a digital paper plus a typing tool. I've got answers in just a couple seconds. <music> Welcome back to Writer Gadgets and Workflow. I'm K.L. Brady and I am excited today because um, I'm going to be answering another subscriber question. Listen, this one was, I thought it was easy and then I realized it wasn't so easy. So instead of trying to answer it in the comment sections with like paragraphs and paragraphs of answers, I decided to do a quick video. You know, I always try to do a quick video and then they end up not being quick. <laughs> But I'm going to try and make it quick this time. Okay. So the question is, um, can you recommend a product that has the look of a paper, but that has a keyboard to type notes? Okay. So complex, it's actually a complex answer. You know, you would think it sounds simple, but it's, it's actually kind of complex. I, like I said, I started trying to type it and it realized it's not as simple as that. Okay, so I'm going to break it down a little bit <laughs> so I can try to give the full answer. And hopefully I will address all of the issues that the uh, subscriber had. Okay, so the first part is, can I recommend a product that has the paper look of a notebook? Yes. Okay, so pretty much every digital paper product out there, okay, has the ability, they have templates that come with them wide rule college rule legal rule um th there's all kind of lined sheets of uh, lined templates within the digital products okay so if you get digital paper i mean that's that's what they they make it for right they make it so that you can treat it like a notebook so all of them have the notebook template okay now, what I will say is the the one maybe different area would be your tablet. So like your Apple iPad or like your Samsung tablets or whatever, your Android tablets. Okay, so those tablets will come with lined paper if... <laughs> You either have a notes app that has lined paper in it. I know the Apple notes has lined paper. It's, it's got a lined sheet of paper in it. Or you can buy an app that is a digital notebook. Like what I use is Notability, right? So if you use Notability, you can pick your paper and it has a template with your... Um, you know with your line paper in it okay so that is how you get lined paper in a digital notebook almost anything you buy is going to have the capability to have lined paper so that's not your issue right <laughs> that's the easy part the hard part is the typing part okay so can I recommend a product that has a uh, a keyboard to type notes okay yes um, and I'll get to that in a second but just understand what the purpose of digital notebook is right so the dig the purpose of a digital notebook is to actually write longhand it's not to type right it's not built for typing I would say like if you are primarily a typist first then i would recommend a product like a, a tablet and just get like microsoft word and type right <laughs> if that's what your main uh function is that the, is that if that's how you're creative um then don't even bother with a digital notebook right just get just just use word or use um any kind of text app um, on a tablet on any tablet and just type right um, and, and you, it'll give you a Bluetooth keyboard now 
With that said, if you really want to actually write to, there's a couple things you can do. One is you can actually just write and use the optical character rec recognition, right? Every tool that I have has OCR, every one. They will turn your handwriting to text, every single one. So the Moby Scribe, the Remarkable, the Apple, um, you know, my Apple um, iPad. This is my 12.9, I have, well, I have two of these. And then, of course, the Books Note, okay? So all of these come with the ability to change your uh, text through optical character recognition to change your handwritten text into typewritten text, okay? So that's one way to do it. The other thing that you can do is you can connect via a Bluetooth keyboard and then type, okay? Now, I will tell you that um, a few things. One, um, if you're thinking about the remarkable and the typing is a must have, this is not your product, right? You cannot connect to a keyboard. There's no typing capability. <laughs> this is for writing longhand, writing longhand. And then if you want to eventually type, you use the OCR feature, you change your um, your text, your handwritten text to, uh, to, um, to text, typewritten text, and then you email it to yourself and then you can type in um, Microsoft Word, okay? But you can't do that on this, on here. So this is not your thing if you want to type. And that is something that you really have to do on this tool, right? The other thing, kind of surprising because I actually thought it had the capability. Now, it has, uh, the Moby Scribe has an onboard keyboard where you can type, you know, on with the, the screen, but you can't actually, uh, there's no Bluetooth capability. So you can't actually hook up a Bluetooth keyboard to this. So this is out in terms of uh, if you have to have the ability to type in with your digital paper product, this is out, okay? All right, so what that leaves you with <laughs> is several options, right? Now, the high-end option, and you can do a low-end option to this too. I'll show you how in a second. But the high-end option is... Um, is your Apple, you know, your Apple iPad with um, with your Magic Keyboard. What I will tell you is that if if you are, you have to have everything in one product, and you're primarily a typist, that there is to me no better typing experience than an iPad with the Magic Keyboard. And now I kind of know because I've tried multiple things. And I can tell you this combination is really hard to beat in terms of typing experience, okay? If, if typing was primarily my thing, you know, how I was most creative, um, you know, and I wanted the tablet and I had to have the ability to have the digital paper, like this is probably my first go-to now that I know right? Because <laughs> it's easy. It fits together. It's seamless. You you attach it. It literally attaches by magnet. You open it up and it's ready to go. You, you, you know, there's no figuring out how to connect it. You, you know, the, the F function key to figure out how to connect it to the right. Um, uh, Bluetooth. I mean, it, it takes all the work out of figuring out how to, it's literally slap your iPad on there and start typing, right? Open up something and type, that's it. It's so seamless and easy. You gotta love Apple for that, okay? So what I will say is for ease, for the typing experience, if you get a digital paper app like a Notability or the many others out there, that's the one I know about, but 
there's hundreds probably of others, at least tens of others, if not hundreds, um, that you can go look at on the and pick out the one that suits you best, okay? To me, it's a high end, it's pricey, but to me, it's the best experience. So if that's your budget, this is this is number one for me, okay? Um, the other option that I have is the uh, Super Note. The Super Note has a Bluetooth connector, and I can tell you, connecting the Bluetooth keyboard to this was super easy. Okay, so wh what I have is I. This is for my small iPad, right? It's a Bluetooth keyboard case. Now that that's another option. You can get a used, like a refurbished, smaller iPad, and you can get one of these keyboard cases. This is not the Magic Keyboard, obviously. So it's it's honestly you can you can tell the difference in the typing experience. But this is not bad considering. Um, I I don't think I paid for this. I think I got it free from the Amazon Vine program I'm in. But what I will say is um, I know it's less than $100 and it might be somewhere around $50 or $60 like full price. So you can get these relatively cheap. You can get a small iPad relatively cheap. But I hooked up the Super Note to this. Obviously it doesn't fit. Um, but I just wanted to see how easy it was to hook up. And you can see it doesn't fit there. But it was so easy to hook up. It was so fast. It, it took me about a minute to hook it up. And I was able to type on using this keyboard onto the Super Note. Uh, what you have to do, let's put it this way. What I did was I opened up, you can open up a Word document on here. And then you can type. Um, makes it very easy. So, um, so your other option is uh, a super note that has the blue and again i recommend getting the a5x this is the a6x which is the smaller option but i recommend getting the 10.3 option the 10.3 inch option which is the a5x which they're not shipping until january now i just checked today um but i recommend waiting getting the a5x and then getting yourself a Bluetooth keyboard, right? Um, and to to use these. Now, what will that cost be? This one's like three, I want to say 379 or something like that. And then a Bluetooth keyboard can run you as little as 30 bucks. So it really might be $400 to get this plus the um, the keyboard, okay? So that's that option, right? And then the third option that I'm aware of that I have is the books, okay? Now, my books note, my books, this is Books Max. This is the largest, most expensive version of this product, right? Um, now they have um, Books Lumi, which is the, uh, actually the Lumi 2 is coming out. Um... And that is actually the most current version, but these were all like $900, $800, $900 uh, products, right? But they come with Bluetooth, Bluetooth capability. Now, what I can say is Books has a whole line of products that go ranges from, I want to say, maybe $300 to $900. The, the middle... Uh, the middle range is the Books Note, which is about five hundred dollars. So it's a little cheaper than than the uh, it's a little cheaper than the A five X for the Super Note, and you can buy the Bluetooth keyboard with the I think the Bluetooth keyboard is like thirty or forty dollars extra, right? So for about five hundred forty bucks, you can buy. The 10.3 inch books note plus the keyboard, which is a great bargain. Okay, that will give you the digital notebook paper capability, the paper plus the ability to type. Now, here's an issue <laughs> I have yet to find one where you can actually type on the lined paper. 
So if that's what you wanted to do. I'm not sure that that can be done. I, I want to say it may be possible on the book's note if that is a necessity. But um, that is because to type on a book note page, you have to open up a text box. So you open up, basically open up a text box over the line paper and then you can type. But in terms of just being able to type like online paper, um, I'm not sure that any of these products will allow you to do that. And so if that is your need, I'm not sure any of these products will, will do that for you. Um, I, I tried actually typing on the line also in, um, in the in the iPad, the notes application, I actually tried typing on the note, you know, the line paper in the note. And what it does, it just moves the lines down and it just types on plain, you know, it, it types on um, with no lines. So, and that's was my experience in trying with all of these. So if that's a necessity for you, I think that you're not gonna be able to do that on any of these products, at least that I've tried out. And I've, I've tried all of them um, that I could hook up a Bluetooth keyboard to. So um, my thoughts about, you know, the products and everything, like I said, um, for me, writing to me um, activates a part of my brain that I don't use when I'm typing. To me, writing longhand is like the best, one of the best ways. Now, I will say the other thing that I do, and it's because it is a creativity tool, is the free write, where I can sit down with my free write. I know the only reason, it's a mental thing, right? I know the only reason it exists is for me to be creative. And so there's no limitations on me when I sit down. I'm able to release the creativity. It's the same with um, with digital paper tools. So for me, longhand, it's the remarkable. It's still my thing, right? Um, even though I will say there's a lot of good qualities. Um, the the uh, Super Note has a lot of great qualities, and I will talk about those qualities in. Uh, the demo video, which is coming up soon, like this weekend. Um, I just need time to sit down and actually record it. Um, I had a couple things going on that I needed to take care of. So I'll be doing that soon. Um, but uh, so for the for writing experience, still the remarkable. There's no Bluetooth. You can't type. Okay. For typing, if, if typing's your jam, um then I would say the Apple iPad with the magic keyboard if you can you know if you if you can afford that. Um, the cheaper Apple iPad, you can get the refurbished, the smaller, older versions for so cheap, make a couple hundred dollars nowadays, plus um, buy yourself um, a wireless keyboard that fits it in here. I have one that fits in here, it's just downstairs and I was too lazy to go downstairs and get it. But I do have one that fits in here. And um, this keyboard, it works perfectly seamlessly together. I can open up the Word app and the Notes app and I can type on this just the same. That's the great thing about Apple. It doesn't matter how old or how new. It all comes with the same apps. <laughs> so you can still have the same functionality on, across the whole product line. So that's the great thing about Apple. Um, so you can get the cheaper, way, way cheaper. You can get the way, way cheaper this. You know, for two or three hundred dollars, you can have yourself an iPad plus a Bluetooth keyboard. Um, you know, it's not the Apple um, Magic Keyboard, but it works just as well. And the typing experience is not bad. It's not the same, but it's not bad. Okay, so you can do that if typing's your jam. And then, like I said, best of both worlds is going to be a Super Note because it has the Bluetooth connectivity or one of the books lines and you might want to go with the smaller book i may end up getting a books note uh just to test it out um 
I'll see, you know, that's a budget thing, right? Where, where do I really want to spend my money? I think if I really want to buy another product, the one I'm going to buy is the A5X, not, uh, not the A, uh, not the books note, but we'll see. Anyway, so that is all I have for you guys today. I know I said it was going to be quick and then look how long it took, but I hope I answered the question. One more thing I wanted to tell you guys about. Okay. This is off question. And this is just an additional thing that I just recently came across and I wanted to let you know about. Um, one of my biggest issues with the um, digital paper has been book light, right? Which one has the backlighting, right? And then finding a decent book light <laughs> that if you don't have backlighting, that you have some decent lighting, especially for us night writers, right? So um, I actually found the tool. It is to me the best book light for a digital paper product that I have yet to find. And I have bought a lot of ridiculous, spent a ridiculous amount of money on book lights. This is the book light. It's called With It Swivel Book Light. And I can use it with any of my digital paper products. So what happens is you just clip it on so I can use it on my super note. This swivels out. You turn it on and it's got like three brightness. If you're sitting in darkness, I can tell you the difference that this makes in reading and writing. If you have in a low light situation, is uh, it's just unbeatable. Um, I love this. So then it works and clip it onto my Remarkable, same deal. But I can also clip it on to my books, same deal. And again, the lighting is wonderful and you can change it. It it uh, it uses two AAA batteries. Um, I have two energizers in here that I used and I could just tell you, so far it's, it's great. I, I just recently got it um, and so if you need a book light for your um, digital paper tools. This is your tool. It is wonderful. It's called With It Book Light, Swivel Book Light or something like that. With It, if you can see that. And I put a link to this in the comments below if you want to buy one. It's $15 and it is an eye saver for those that don't have uh, backlighting on their digital paper tools. Okay, that is going to do it for me today. Thank, thank you so much for watching. If you like this content um, and if you have any questions or comments, please comment below and make sure you subscribe and we'll see you next time.